venting. When loading is carried out with venting through the mast riser, it's a SOLAS requirement that the isolation or stop valves on the inert gas venting distribution pipeline are locked open and the overall opening and closing is controlled by the officer in charge of the cargo transfer operation. This is typically the chief officer. It's important for the officer conducting loading operations to be aware of the capability of the primary and secondary venting system during loading. Crude oil tankers are generally designed to vent cargo vapors during loading through a mast riser. This is a primary venting system. Some crude oil tankers are fitted with vapor emission control manifolds. Where mast riser venting is used as the primary venting system during loading, a full flow pressure vacuum valve needs to be fitted as a secondary means, which must be able to vent cargo vapor volumes at a rate of 1.25 times the maximum permissible flow rate in the cargo tank. However, a smaller capacity pressure vacuum valve may be fitted, though this will only be designed to cope with small changes in the volume of cargo vapor or inert gas due to thermal variation. In this case, each tank must be fitted with pressure sensors, allowing the pressure to be monitored from the cargo control room. The approved VOC management plan will fully describe the arrangements on board. When loading, the officer controlling the operation needs to recognize an appropriate trace to expect on the inert gas pressure recorder. Click on each of the graphs to find out more about the various venting methods.